It is Monday morning, and I'm going to upload this today. Hopefully it gets out there today, because um, I'm headed to work after I make this. So, um, It's a beautiful morning. This is actually a Dollar Tree. I think so. And it's got the good handle on it, the beautiful print. Eric, it's handle approved, I think. It's big. Get your whole hand in there. <laughs> anyway, I got it a while back. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Somebody had mentioned on my, when I shared my cards, and it's fine that they mentioned it because I agree that the pumpkin was too white and to maybe chalk it in or color it in. So I did. I just had some, my brushes that already have the ink still left on them. So I went in. So thank you for that suggestion. I agree. So I just lightly went in with an orange and a vintage photo brush. And yeah, then it's not like, mm, mm. so, and she was very sweet. She goes, I like your, and it's okay. I, it, I agree. So <laughs> it's the people that come out and go, I don't like how you, you know, that I don't appreciate, but helpful suggestions in a positive manner are awesome. So yes, thank you. I like it much better now. So I appreciate that. And I got the cutest mail from Cheryl Whedon. Cheryl has used to buy from Stampin' Up! from me and been with me for years through all my journey and everything and my past life. And so anyway, she sent me a little package. Look at this gorgeous card. That is gorgeous. And it says, hello. I got red. This is a cup I was telling you about. It has a Oh, it holds a pint of Ben and Jerry's perfectly so your hands don't get cold. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. And she stuffed it with goodies. Oh my gosh. I know it has been a month since the video, but that's me. Hope you enjoy it. And the Vermont goodies. Oh, Cheryl, thank you so much. I kind of forgot about that you made that call. I, it, it, this brain doesn't hold on to a lot of information for very long. But thank you. I'm glad you pointed out the um, Ben and Jerry's. That's my favorite. And I just eat a little bit each time. So I get about three eatings. But it's full of Vermont. Vermont, um, I have a f gal that I worked with for years. Moved back to take care of her mother to New Hampshire. It's on my bucket list when I retire. I don't know that it'll be the first year I retire, but I want to go to New England in the fall, like everybody else. But I just, oh my gosh. So Ben and Jerry's, are they, look at this cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Let's see. So it's got the state. Okay, you hear the cat? I forgot to turn it off. Emma was here yesterday and I walked by and went, and I was like, oh my God, what is that? The cat. So Ben and Jerry's on there. Did you make this, honey? This is so cute. I love it. I'm going to hang that. I have a collection of different things that people have, charms and things that people have sent me. Oh my gosh, my big fingers are right in the way, but it is super, super cute. Chunky monkey. Oh my God. Chubby Hubby. I haven't had that one yet. Cherry Garcia. Oh my God, those are adorable. So cute. Thank you. Ooh, maple waffle made with pure syrup. Yum. Today's a training day for teachers. So, Sugar Shack maple candy candies. Yum. And I like the container. So cute. Moonlight in Vermont milk chocolate cappuccino crunch. Oh boy, I'm going to take some of this stuff to work with me. So half the day we are, ooh, Vermont maple beak balm. There we go. Training, which is hard for me to get really focused because I know I'm not going to, it's good stuff, but I don't know, I'm too old to worry about it. Anyway, and then we get the afternoon to plan and things for ourselves. Oh, this in this, oh my gosh. Pure Vermont maple syrup. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just used, I used, I had some I bought at a store, which I'm sure is not as good as this. But I also like the bottle. Isn't it cute? 
Oh my gosh, Cheryl, that is so sweet. And I'm definitely going to try this tonight when I eat my, my Ben and my Jerry's. Okay. <coughs> the other day I was at Safeway, is our local store, one of them. And it said, they have these digital coupons. You know, if it's going to be on sale, just give it to me at the sale price. Don't make me work for it. I got to take a picture of the digital or go on my app. And it didn't come up. And I'm like, uh, but it was like $6.99 and I could have gotten it for $3.49. So I went over to customer service. I said, I'm really sorry, but this is ridiculous. You know, anyway, I just think it's ridiculous that you have to, if you can sell it at that low price and sell it at that low price. Don't make me work for it. I'm already there. That's half the battle just getting me in the store. Anyway. Okay. Let's see. So as you know, I kept talking about, I went to Ben Franklin. Oh, before I get there, sorry. I keep going off on tangents. Somebody had a, we have this table in our staff lounge that um, has people just put out what they're giving away for free. I just thought this was kind of cool. It's vintage looking. It's just a holder. I don't think it is vintage. I like the browns and the tones. Junk journaling. This one, I thought this this has got to be vintage. Canceled checks. Who worries about canceled checks now that we have digital or online? But anyway, maybe you do, and I'm just... That was cool. So I could keep things in there for my... This is the new one. It's too early to drink, but drink a coffee. There we go. Every time I say junk journal. And then this bag was out there. I thought, well, that's super cute. And then look at this stuff. A little envelope. Some memoranda. But look at... Okay, I got it. <laughs> Lucy, you're too noisy. No. <laughs> I like to send videos to my kids. Lucy and Ricky and I are going to bed now. The dog's barking. And just to keep them worried that I'm losing it. Okay. Anyway, look at this. Cool. This is from City Finance Corporation. Important papers are enclosed. Anyway, thought that was cool. And then some more of these vintage-like envelope things. Cool. Too big for my current junk journal, but you never know. I could cut it in half, like this one in half and it would just, anyway, figure it out. So just thought I'd share. Free is the way to be. I used to tell my kids. Okay. So I have Ben Franklin. This was, you spend 10, you get five off for being in the class. Then I won twice. And so the first winning I got, I'll show you. And then the second winning, I was like, I should go play the lottery. I've never won anything. Um, I got a $5 gift card. So I got $10 off today on, or that day. So this little gnome, it was three ninety, so four bucks. It's hard to find good deals there because they're not a online store. For one of my $5, I went down and grabbed this because I needed clear. I cannot, I probably have it somewhere. So I bought clear embossing powder. Can I remember why I need clear? Nope. I had a project I was going to do. Oh, no, it broke. Poop. Y'all made this. Shoot. The hostess of the party did this, and it was very cute, but the test tube broke. Shoot. Full of M&Ms. I think she said she got the M&Ms at Target. Um... I got this. This was like $1.99. Aren't they cute? They had two different color waves. I just want, I think I'm going kind of leaning toward the traditional colors this year rather than the pinks and the blues. I'm, I'm very fickle. This, because I want to make these little ornaments that I saw a gal make. She downloaded on Etsy. I'll try to remember to link her channel. I'm terrible at that. But they're little, um, you know, little tiny, like one inch of of the um, gold book, golden books. And she turned them into ornaments, cut them out and turned them into ornaments. So, and she used this to mimic the golden book spine. I tend to get these kind of things from there so I can get individual. And this is White Christmas. <coughs> Sorry. Cartabella. 
So there's a bunch of little tags I can use for $1.49. Cute on presents, but really cute on cards and things. So I got that. And I found this on sale. It was just kind of hanging out. $2.47. And Tori, there's a train near them that does the Christmas train. And she's ridden it at different. And she has a fascination with trains. So I'm like, yeah. It's got all aboard, believe. Christmas wish. North Pole Express. Santa's Toy Factory, so it's not all train related, but there are train things on there, and this is Reminis. Die cut stickers. Let me put it over the... But yeah, so they're sticky back. So they're an actual sticker. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't even notice that's got a train track bear border. So there you go. Cute. There's the Magic Express, the Magical Journey. So I thought that would be really cute for her. And I debated, but I got these. Just one. Because um, I'm, I'm trying to do like my, those, where is it? These ornaments here. So I could either put it on the inside. Somebody said, well, you could put it on the inside too. Yeah, Kim, you could. Or this. So anyway. So you get these circles, and I have circle dies coming out the gazoo. I'm sure I can find one. Watch. I won't be able to find it because I'm looking for it. But anyway, if I'm looking for it, I can't find it. If I'm not looking for it, I find it. Does that make any sense? Probably if you're a crafter, it does. So anyway, this is Stamperia. Beautiful stuff. So I thought those were really pretty. Or I have wood pieces these could go on. I love this deer. I had two, a mama and a her baby. I went out for my coffee on my porch. Even though I probably shouldn't be out there. It's so smoky here right now. That fire is still going. Anyway, and there was the mommy and her baby eating. It was so sweet. I feel bad because our area is growing so fast that they're running out of places to, to exist, to live. Um, and then, I know I, I ramble on, but that's the way it goes. I decided for my freebie to get this, and it has a flat magnet, which I like. I usually put my Sizzix double sheet, double-sided sheet down, so I don't need a magnet. But I love, this is my go-to, and I have the one. This one came with two of these, but you know, my trailer, blah, 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 I don't have to haul it back and forth. Precision Press Advanced by We Are Memory Keepers. But they say the second one was for some other tool if you wanted to use it or you could arrange your stamps twice you know different stamps and then go in and I just seriously this is the best one it works with both rubber and clear and there's no adjusting I love it so if you're looking for one that would be I have Tim I have Stampin' Up I have a Misty I have you know that's my go-to okay so what I did was coloring. So there's the <laughs> Emma was over yesterday, and so we were blowing on our walk home to my place, um, blowing the different dandelions. That was cute. And there's this new guy. I don't have the stamps because these were somebody else's. We sat on a different in a different. There's two rooms to this place. We sat in the opposite side because I. Um, was afraid and I was so glad I wasn't there first Margaret made it first she was surprised she's I'm usually first anyway and I'm glad she did that because it was too hard to go sit where we always sat I just think about our friend that passed too much so anyway here's a gnome this is those what is it? I can't remember the brand and they cute and this is with my spectrum noir I think, is that all I colored? My goodness. I think that's all I did. I stuffed stuff, stuffed stuff in there. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show you one thing. Sorry, I always forget. So, I have this. It was in my classroom, and then I brought it home last year. And... 
it's a rain stick. This is my, it's got, you know, it's from South America somewhere. My ex-mother-in-law, may she rest in peace. I didn't get along very good, but anyway. <laughs> so I got this tube with a magnet cover that I put on my dishwasher and it was sitting next to the rain stick or no, it wasn't. It was just in the living room and I said to Emma, we better keep this the other day, a couple last visit and do something with it. And she goes, let's turn it into our own rain stick. I'm like, oh my gosh, she is so creative. Her ideas are just wonderful. So she colored it yesterday We sat out. We're having an unusually warm 70s, um, in the 70s, which we need the rain because of the fires. But anyway. So we were out in the yard and I had all my big 96 pack of um, watercolor pens. I just brush pens. I just let her use them. I said, don't with them, <laughs> but you can color with them. So she did. First, she filled it with raw. <laughs> Not quite the same effect, but so sweet. And she said, well, I'm going to put on all the colors I know, all the people that I know, their favorite color. I'm going to put their color on here so I think of them. She is just, oh. she's doing well, her arm. And then the neighbor boy actually goes to her daycare and her school. He's one year older. So they ended up playing together. So it was a really fun day. And then our thing is we go to this Greek restaurant and she has these noodles that she likes. And we split those. We sat on the deck and had dinner together. And then, uh, ice cream cone and oh my gosh so but boy she wears me on I was so tired after she looked and I started if you see here I'm bringing out I went and got my stuff and I'm slowly putting it up I have tiered tray over there cheers anyway so I started decorating her and then I said to Emma you can help do the I have my bookcase over here that I put my um haunted house stuff on and my Halloween stuff and she lasted very shortly so I said why don't you take the little stuff from Dollar Tree the little fairy garden stuff that's pumpkin related and go play with it on the deck and she was okay <laughs> so it's like this isn't going well she's just too too excited about everything that came out and didn't want to yeah anyway she's five so we had a good day. It was fun. But boy, she talks all the way there, all the way back, all day. Anyway, I actually got that from Grandma, I think. I like to talk. All right, guys, this is going too long. I will talk to you soon and have a great week. Bye-bye.